Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tanner Bell and welcome to the Doris YouTube channel. In today's DIY video, we're going to take a piece of cork and turn it into a really cool DIY lamp for your room decor or home decor. It's going to be a lot of fun and let me show you how to make it. For today's DIY project, you're going to need a 12 by 22 piece of Doris craft designer cork, as well as a one or two sets of the deco lights uh, from Doris, a few clothespins, a sharpie to keep your lines and holes straight, a hot glue gun, and as well as a drill, or you could use a screwdriver, anything sharp to poke holes into your cork. The first thing you're going to need to do today is take your Sharpie and a yardstick or a measuring tape and create lines. This is going to put where all of your holes on your cork is going to be. Because I tried to do this freestyle and let me tell you, you want a pattern, something to follow and make it look all normal because if it's all swervy, that is not going to be nice. So you just want to take it and create lines. I'm doing these about like two inches or so apart, um, you just want to sort of eyeball it. Um, this part's okay to eyeball, but if you're just drilling holes randomly on cork, it's going to end up looking a little funky. And then we're just going to do this to the same side, just going a different way. And then here's the idea of how it's going to look after you put all your lines on here. And as you can tell, you're just going to drill the holes through on every corner. This is obviously a finished one that's already been drilled, but our next step is to take your drill and drill the holes. You want to have something under it to protect your surface. I just used a piece of paper mache box that was um, left over from another project, and it was really easy. Now you're going to want to create the nicest holes possible on your cork. Cork is a very interesting surface to drill through, so you want to do it a little bit slower and sort of learn the technique to create the best holes possible, um, because some of mine turned out a little bit different, but that's okay because I like that look. Look, and it's gonna look really great with the lights inside of it and streaming out. Okay, so I've drilled all my holes and boy oh boy did that take a little bit, but it was so much fun. So now you're going to want to wrap it like so. And we're going to also have our hot glue gun as well as two clothespins because we're gonna pin it to each side after it's glued to let the hot glue set. Um, that way you don't actually have to hold it so much, but it's gonna look really cool. So here is how it is looking. I don't know how narrow I want it. I'm thinking right about here. Because we left space for the hot glue right here. You want to be sure to leave that. So now what we're going to do is apply our hot glue. You want a large layer of hot glue to your cork. So I'm just applying a good layer. Um, I think I'm only going to do half at a time because it does take, um, hot glue does set really quick. Okay, so we've applied hot glue to the right side. Now we're going to just apply, open it up here and apply it to the left side. Just to give it a nice medium layer, not too much hot glue, but you do want to have enough to seal it and keep it together. Okay, so I have glued this together and it looks really cool. I have one hot glue gun string, but I'm going to remove that. And it's looking really nice, but I think to finish this all off, it needs a top piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it and sit it on another piece of cork. And with the pencil, I'm going to trace the bottom. You do not want to use your Sharpie for this because then the Sharpie will get on your cork and it will not want to come off. Trust me, I have been there with this process. So now that this is cut out, we're going to go around and try to glue it onto the top of the rim and just make it like that. So you want to go a little by little and be sure to only use a little bit of hot glue at a time because a little bit goes a long way. Okay guys, so we've added on our top piece of cork and I really think this will light it up and be able to give more light to the little holes to shine through because if you had this top part, the light would sort of go up and it wouldn't look as cool as coming through the holes. So now we're going to take it upside down and we're going to open up one of our pack of our deco lights. This is for indoor use only, but I love these lights from Doris. So we're just going to simply open this up and take them out of the package. You get 20 lights in here and it's perfect for like a lamp or anything like this. Um, that's like a smaller project. So we're going to unwrap these here and throw that in the trash can. And we're just going to thread this into the lamp. And how easy is this? They'll sort of just hang out um, in here. So you want to make sure that it gets evenly distributed. You may want to like put some duct tape to hold it in place, but I'm testing that out right now to sort of see what would be best for me. So now we've sort of added them in and we're going to turn them over. I didn't want to put a bottom on here because I wanted it to be easy access to the lights to like change them out or anything like that. So now we're going to grab our extension cord and line them up here. And voila, isn't this so cool? 
was in this project so much fun. I can't believe how we took a piece of our Dorit's Court and turned it into such a cool project so simply. It is so much fun and I think this looks great in the dark and I think the kids are going to love this one. So if you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up, get, subscribe to the channel for new DIY videos every week, and as always, check us out at Dorit's.com for more information on this project and many, many more, as well as all the products that we offer here at Dorit's. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!